Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at your current situation or the person most on your mind. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Capricorns. Clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. All right, so the overall energy, we have the Four of Coins. That's your energy. Your person, Two of Cups. Wow, soulmate energy. They're viewing you as the High Priestess. Mm, Cancer Pisces energy. What you're not seeing is the Nine of Cups, okay, wish fulfillment, and we have the Seven of Wands, final outcome, advice. All right, so we have the Three of Swords as the overall messages, all right, Capricorn. So it looks like somebody here is really holding back, and I'm kind of getting a message for some of you. This could be like a newer connection or like a secret admirer, someone who feels like you're a soulmate, they're feeling the love here. Um, but they're trying to figure you out because they're seeing you as the high priestess energy. Um, there may be, it may be that someone is involved in another connection, Capricorn. That could be you, that could be them. But I feel like this person, they're in the energy of the two of cups. They feel like you are soulmates, like you're their person. Now, some of you, it could be that this is an ex, okay? And there's been some sort of heartache or loss. But let's see, the four of coins. This is Capricorn energy, but it's about holding back. Um, but it's also about wanting to build a solid foundation and we get the three of pentacles in reverse. I think there's a third party here. Capricorn, this could be somebody who is currently with somebody else who's crushing on you big time. It's actually more than crushing on you. They're seeing you as their person. Um, it could be that this person is feeling that way and you're the one that's in another connection or you're just in separation. It's like this person's really sort of going back and forth here about whether or not to reach out and tell you how they're feeling. Oh, Virgo energy. This person's gonna reveal deep feelings for you. And it might be an awkward conversation here, Capricorn, because this might be somebody, like I said, who's involved with someone else, or maybe you are, or it's somebody here who's been holding back and they, they're, they're, they adore you. What else can I say? Two of Cups energy, so it's possible your person is in another connection. Six of Wands, or they're getting a lot of attention. This person wants victory. They want union. They want to come together with you, but they haven't told you. Ace of Swords energy in reverse. For a lot of you, this blocked throat chakra with the Ace of Swords in reverse Capricorn is somebody with secret feelings. And like I said, it's possible there's third party involvement here. The High Priestess. So this is like they're waiting to see you. Um, this is, you know, there's a very beautiful intuitive connection. They find you very attractive, very alluring. It's like they want to get to know you better or know what's going on. But they also see you quite guarded. But they also, Capricorn, see that you are worth fighting for. They want to fight for this. And the hanged man energy in reverse, Pisces energy again. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this person, they're seeing you differently. Um, it could be someone too, like I am also getting, it's possible that you like work with somebody here or they're a friend or whatever your situation is. They have these secret feelings for you and they have absolutely changed from maybe platonic to romantic um, because they're definitely seeing you differently. There's a very spiritual connection that they're feeling. Maybe you're feeling this as well. Um, maybe they haven't confessed those feelings. And for a lot of you, there's an energy here of frustration because one or both of you may not be single and available here. So with the Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. So your person, it's like they want to tell you how they're feeling. I do think they have a hard time working up the courage. Um, and for some of you, like I said, they this person, if you're not in communication with them, it's like they're crushing on you really hard. Nine of Cups, yep, they're restless. They are restless. You are their wish fulfillment, Capricorn, but there's some sort of third party here. 
there's some sort of third party. Now, not for all of you is it going to be romantic rivals, but I feel like for a lot of you that absolutely is the case, either you or them or maybe both of you. The Seven of Wands, Spirit's telling you to protect your energy, Capricorn. And the Three of Wands, wow, the Ten of Wands. This is heavy, this is burdensome, because I think I've got two people who have fallen in love, or at least this person has fallen in love with you, but there's some serious obstacles. Spirit's telling you to watch, wait, hold back. Something here is developing, and it's important, you know, watch, wait, hold back before you make a decision. Four of Wands, wow. For some of you, this is gonna be a reconciliation with this person, or, you know, somebody might be, whether it's you or them, or both of you even, like it's a, it's an interesting message, are gonna make a decision here to leave someone or something behind so that you two can be together. I do just wanna remind you that third party energy can be friends, it can be family, it can be bad advice, it can be work, you know, it can be travel, it can really be anything. But I am getting, for a lot of you, it is a third party, okay? So just, just be aware there, okay? But the Four of Wands, this person feels like your soulmates, twin flames. But we get the Six of Wands, it's funny, we get the Seven of Wands and the Three of Wands takes us to the Ten of Wands. The Six of Wands and the Four of Wands, so double Ten of Wands. This person needs to get something off their chest. They're very burdened by the circumstances and whatever it is that's sort of keeping you two apart. Um, the energies that we have coming through, really strong Virgo energy, really strong Pisces, double Pisces. Um, cancer energy as well, which would be your opposite sign. Uh, but let's go ahead and see. Yeah, this person's been holding back, but it's interesting. Whether they're going to confess their feelings just yet, I'm not so sure. But a lot of you, you probably already know or intuitively know how they feel about you. So opposites, wow. So Capricorn, you might be opposite of the person that you're, they might be opposite of the person that you're currently with or vice versa. But I love the energy of opposites because it tells me that, you know, that's very yin yang energy. We get the energy of divorced. Okay. So your person might, like this card wanted to come out in reverse, which tells me it's possible that your person hasn't quite separated from someone just yet. Uh, but you might be, you know, you might be the straw there that breaks the camel camel's back. Somebody quite sophisticated and we get morning person. All right, so whether that resonates with you or not, that could be your energy. All right, let's see what this person would like to say to you. So th this is my, these are my soulmates and separation cards. Um, if this is a past person, these might be more relevant, but let's just see what this person would like to say. And some of you, maybe you are in separation from this person, but they they want you back. There's something here that they they do not like the obstacles between you and them. When you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You see a side of me, others don't. I can't hide from you. Yeah, I also feel this person can't hide their feelings any longer. And with the hanged man energy in reverse, I feel like you've really been a part of their awakening. So whatever your interactions have been with this person, you've affected them on a very deep level. You're making them look at things differently. And for some of you, they might have some guilt. Um, if they are with somebody else, they might have some guilt about, you know, the feelings that they have for you. Um, cause I feel like they're absolutely undeniable. Nobody is like you. You are exceptional and you are special. Okay. And we get, I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. Yeah. Wow. So they are waiting to see you. They're missing you. And I regret my past mistakes and wish I could have another chance with you. So for some of you, it's reconciliation. For some of you, this person's just sort of regretful that you two can't quite be together. And I feel like they're seriously trying to figure out how they can make that happen. Woo. All right. So we get messages for my Capricorns here. Bring your ideas to life. Okay. So some of my Capricorns, you might be suspecting that this person has these feelings for you, either the way that they look at you or the messages that they send you or the things that they say to you. Trust your intuition here. Also, pay attention to the way you talk to yourself. Remember, thoughts become things. And we get, be loyal to what you love. Okay, so there is a big question here of loyalty um, coming up. So that's about following that heart, your heart space, right? 
and bring a gentle touch. So some of my Capricorns, you know, for some of you, if you're in another connection, you know, you might be turning this person down. Um, you might be very loyal to the person that you're with and you've got a secret admirer here that sees you as a soulmate. Maybe it's a past person. Maybe it's somebody who's currently in your energy. But I feel like the sum of my Capricorns, you're going to let this person down gently. Now, for others of you, bring a gentle touch and be loyal to what you love. If you feel like this is your person, you know, it feels like, you know, it feels like something here absolutely can come to fruition if that's what you want. But we get this energy of claim your independence, number 13, Scorpio energy. I feel like that's your person's energy, that they're they're ready to end something here, Capricorn, or they want to end something um, so that you two can come together. So it's really going to be up to you. It feels like this is a strong soul connection. There's a very... There's a very uh, strong spiritual link between you and this person. So you could be past life soulmates or you're just very intuitively connected. Let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns regarding this connection. Yeah, see, this is somebody, some elements of this relationship are hidden. This is a secret admirer. That's what I'm getting, whether it's an ex or it's somebody around you. Um, make sure you get all the facts, okay? Make sure you figure out what their situation is. Are they single? Are they available? And of course, are you, right? Material attachment. Too much focus on visible trappings. This person is not quite who they seem is what I'm getting. Um, and material attachment. Again, somebody may be here in a connection, in a connection, because they're comfortable in that connection, but they may not really want to be in that. Okay, so just... Take that deep dive and love language acts of service. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, you. for a lot of you, like I, like I said, you're around this person. They're in your energy. They're in your community. And the way that they behave is very, very telling. Somebody here may be married. It is possible this connection could lead to a higher level of commitment. But really, you've got to do a lot of like, I, I get this energy of just go really slow, ground, watch and wait, see what this person says how they behave and take it from there and really trust your intuition here Capricorn but this is somebody they they are missing you or they're longing for you um and and they are going to tell you and I feel like that's like bring a gentle touch this it's not easy for them to tell you how they're feeling all right so anyway I'm going to leave it there sending you so much love and light if these messages resonate I'm going to ask that you hit that like button share subscribe Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light Capricorns. Take care.